Hey up guys, Burnout Culture here. Um, welcome to my first, I guess, semi-official uh, car boot pickups video. Slim pickings, um, as usual. Um, but, you know what, I still had a really, really good morning. Um, getting to grips with this camera, uh, still so... I'm then using the new FDRX3000. Um, just let me make sure it's still recording. I'm still I'm still properly learning it. So you'll probably notice that this now looks really, it's like filming it on like a wide wide angle lens now. Um, so it's it is a bit different. I'm just looking at this because I don't have a viewing screen on that. It's just a tiny little action cam. So I've got like a little viewer that I to make sure so it looks all right like i say though really good morning up there today absolutely cracking weather superb weather and it um as predicted when it's like that it brought everyone out in force there were literally hundreds and hundreds of people there by you know i think i left got there at 20 to 6 left at about oh there a good fair bit so about half past 10 packed by then absolutely packed Cars coming in all the time. Tried my best to get around everything, but I don't know. I think I still still have the the real early birders that were there before me, sort of five o'clock, maybe pre five o'clock. So I'm I'm guessing a lot of it had already gone. Seen some familiar faces up there now. Guys walking around with backpacks and stuff, saying, you know, as soon as cars are coming in, straight in, saying, "Have you got any consoles or games?" So. There's clearly got people that are doing, you know, resellers up there and stuff. So, I'll quickly show you, um, I'll quickly show you what I've got, um, very, very quickly. Um, going to get room, going to get room attacked by a six year old, I think, here. Is she coming? No. <laughs> Quick. That's it, I'll do it really quick. We'll do show you the anti clue about Xbox 360. So I'm, like I say, I'm not gonna start, you know, checking on eBay and all the rest of it. So I just it will literally see them, grab them. But the good thing is about these, they're only 50p each. Um so on this particular style. So I just grabbed um three. I didn't want to go too much because I don't like I say I don't know all about Xbox 360. So these are purely just to Hopefully weighing at um, CEX, so I'm accumulating more and more stuff downstairs. I just want to do it in one big job lot um, and get as much as I can that way. Got a fair bit actually to weigh in. Um, so Call of Duty for Modern Warfare on 360. It is complete. Check the discs as well because I know they scratch easy, don't they, these 360 discs. So that, okay, well used, but okay, I mean for 50p. I don't think you get much, could, I think it's even less in it, it's trading at CX for that, might even be only 30p. So I mean, I don't know yet, it's just like trial and error with these until I get till I get more sort of familiar with what price, current prices are and stuff. Um, Gears of War 2, I think this is another cheaper one, but again, complete. Um, the main thing that I was checking for is like I say, scratches. So, too bad uh, and crisis 2 limited edition don't know what you get so what do you get bonus xp unique platinum dog tag so that's all missing unique platinum dog tag i guess that were like a got it inside this somewhere maybe i don't know uh, but manual again and disc disc actually looks new on that to be fair so for one pound fifty three games not too bad i suppose uh what else did we get let's see very more of a just a trial run this vid to be fair. Um, VHS now this is in beautiful condition. Uh, VHS animated Lord of the Rings. This was fifty p as well. Um, it's just a nice little. I'm I'm guessing it's worth sod all. It looks quite new as well in terms of you know back end at at VHS sort of spectrum. Um, the the, the set itself look practically brand new as does this box so nice little um 
Nice little item that though. Um, and the last, oh, what have we got? This were a quid. Um, I thought this might be worth a little bit of bun, so I'm not sure. I think Pete said it might be worth up to a tenner around Christmas time. So the original Yahtzee. I think it is the original version of it, I think. Very simple game, not much to it. The box is in nice condition, by the way. All corners are, are still there, not no splits. Um, you just get the like the dice tray. It's got the original rules uh, and some quite a bit of the original padded scorecards left. So that's good. You've got the original dice shaker. Uh, what appears to be all the dice I think the only thing that are missing by the looks of it are the pens but it might be worth a, you know to spin it through on eBay and see what happens but a quid be worth a try that one it and the last thing so they very nostalgic for me with this the reason why I got it um, got him down to three quid for this I think he originally wanted Seven. Got him down to three anyway. Made sure it worked. Big track. Look at this MB big track. Um, really cool. Really cool. Now, I forgot. I did know actually, but I totally forgot that the they did actually have two, like two versions of it, didn't they? They had the original, original. I I had this one. <coughs> I always remember. Got it for Christmas. Whenever it came out. So I don't know what year that was. My mum and dad got me it for Christmas and I was absolutely blown away. Well, like, I always remember it being the coolest fucking toy ever. However, I remember it didn't work properly. It wouldn't program. I always remember my dad spending ages trying to get it going for me. And I was absolutely heartbroken when they took it back. And for whatever reason, it didn't get replaced. It was like, I don't know, they're out of stock. Because it was really popular that Christmas. Probably one of the biggest selling toys, but... Yeah, and I always thought, oh, and I never got it again until now. So I don't know, I might, I think, Stu, I think you're right, mate. I don't think this is the, the OG one. There's no date on it. Can't find any dates on it, but it just looks too new, if you know what I mean. It just looks a little bit too new. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um... I don't know to keep it or to see I don't know what the the, the re-release version I don't know what the re-release version goes for. Um I can't get it to do up now. It de oh there you go. It definitely won't work. You obviously got to com command it in. <laughs> Jesus. Um but what a cool thing oh I might just put it up on shelf. I don't know, I think it, it is proper clean like I say this is you know hence why I think it is the, the, the re-release version it can't be that good can't be that good condition um, from 19 what will it be 1980 1982 surely not beyond 84 anyway maybe up to 80, 1984 original one I don't know but super cool though absolutely super cool uh, so I'll, I'll got a little bit of footage going around, but it's a little bit sketchy. Like I say, it's just literally the first time I've ever used this camera uh, this morning. So bear with if it's a little bit patchy, um, but well happy with it. Took it up to a football match last night and got some um, some stills with it as well up there. Uh, I've uploaded them. Beautiful quality stills. Um, but walking around as well, it's, it, I got it um, as like, like I say, as a, um, an alternative to GoPro because I don't want to wear them fucking harnesses. Can't be doing with that. It's just like a fucking dickhead wearing them. Uh, so I just wanted some. It just like it's so little. It just fits in in your hand. Really sort of, you know, you know it just doesn't draw attention. Um, and it's got like I say, you've got a little holder where it slots in, and then this this fits on the back like the. Um, you know, it's just it's like just a viewing window, so you can see, and that that sits on like a, you know, like an adjusting sort of wheel 
if you like so it's, it's just really handy really cool um, so yeah well happy with that so going forward I think if, it, if I get a decent Sunday morning I'm just going to get up there could have gone down to the Otley one later on but I didn't, I didn't quite have enough time to do that one because I like it down there I think you can pick some decent stuff up down there as well because um, it's a late morning start is that one um, but the only thing that will stop me on Saturday going to this boot one in early doors is if I have a few drinks on Saturday night <laughs> <laughs> it were nice just to walk because we, we're getting back really late last night obviously not drinking it were nice just to walk around with a clear head really nice beautiful morning though can't emphasize how, how how good oh forgot this one missed this one at all this this is probably worth, i haven't even checked what this is worth but it's probably worth fuck all probably worth two pence or something professor layton and pandora's box ds um but it, is that even probably what's that? Is that even the manual? I didn't check that like a fucking dickhead. So I don't think that's the manual. I think it's just a, um, a warranty booklet or something. Like that. It might be an instruction booklet. I don't know. Um, but at least I got the right game. I remember last year when I got that. When it Mario Kart, it had fucking something totally, di totally different. In. But at least, um, at least I had the right game in this time. But probably worth sod all, mate. But. Uh, not to worry, not to worry. But I had a glass. Like I, I had a really good morning, um, and it's something I want to do this year. Uh, it'd be nice to go to some other car boots as well. Do you know a little bit further afield, see what they've got elsewhere. But it's just getting your ass up in it and getting there. You've got it's like like um, like still says early bird catches a worm and all that. You've got you've got to be really there, at crack of dawn. To get the real quality stuff, I think, and sometimes I just have not. I'm just too tired to get all lazy, whichever way you want to look at it, to get up there and do it. Um, but I'll try my best. I'll try my best, um, and we'll see how it goes. Right, that's it. Just a quick one today to um, mainly just test this camera out, really, um, see how it goes. So when I upload this, I'll be able to see what this room looks like. I'm guessing it's got, a, like I say, a much wider viewing aspect now from from your from your point of view guys so um but yeah brilliant thanks ever so much for watching and i will check back soon uh with a probably a beer pickups video okay guys take it easy long live the retro morning guys this is the uh, the first booter for me attending, I guess this year, this season, as just um, a buyer. I've got here, it's roughly, it's 20 to 6, to be honest, it's it's as early as I'm prepared to come today. Um, doesn't look that busy, the weather's really, ni really nice but really cold, we had a lot of, um, we had a lot of rain last night. Um, but it's really turned out nice now. Um, we'll see what there is. I'll I'll stay a while. Like I said, like I said in the past. So this is the the Leeds Bradford Airport one. Um, historically, I'm, I'm very much lucky, but I'm optimistic. I'll see what there is, um, and we'll just see how it goes. I'm not just looking for. Um, Oh, retro we'll, we'll, we'll attempt to get other things as well um, see what there is games, toys, that sort of thing anything that's worth a grab whereas usually before I've, I've just sort of I've just sort of stuck to purely retro retro games and, and what have you and it's been slim really slim pickings to say the least so we'll, we'll be optimistic open minded and see what, see what there is and I'll uh, I'll check back in a bit. It's glorious weather now, to be honest. Just really cold, isn't it? A cloud in the sky. It's beautiful. It can be the way up here. Like I've always said, it's really, uh, it's really weather, really weather dependent here. So, a lot of cars coming in as I'm parked up here to sell. So it may, you know, it may get busier. Well, it certainly will get will get busier. Potentially could be a busy morning. We'll see how it goes. Um. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll check back at the end and let you know.
<laughs> what I've got, if anything. Right, guys, cheers. Oh, else you need. Is that 16?